me with gettingcrafty.net. I'm just checking my laptop, make sure we're up and rolling today. Um, to tell you I'm excited to be here is an understatement. Ole! It is piñata day! And if you're a girl who grew up with piñatas, you understand the joy of a piñata. Beating the heck out of a stuffed cardboard Mac, like what's the outside called? Like covered in tissue paper creature. <laughs> um, that is joyful as a kid. As an adult, I had ribs almost broken by a piñata. Um, so one of our family friends, we were, it was, um, my kid's birthday. So we were doing, they have February birthdays, two of them. And so we were doing a birthday party. Oh, there's something on my face. Hair. Um, hi Melody. And so, um, we were doing it in the kit in the garage and had a piñata hanging and little Jeremy swung around. I said, I'll let you know when he heard when <laughs> swung around with a full size metal bat right into my rib cage. Ouch. Hi, Sue. How do you do? Um, are you home? My sweet, sweet girl. I hope you are. I've been praying for you. Oh, sorry. Um, I've been praying for you, boo. I hope you're doing better. She was in the hospital with a real sickness, y'all. So praise the Lord. She is chatting with us. Yay. Um, you have mail that was shipped it, um, yesterday or to, it was shipped yesterday or today, today. I think she got it in the mail today, um, my sweet Genevieve. And um, so keep an eye out for some happy mail coming right to your house. So yay. Um, well, this is um, Piñata Day. So there is something to celebrate every day of the year. There's several somethings. Hi, Bonaboo. How do you do? Um, and so I am... Oh, and Linda! You're in and you're joining us live from Idaho. <gasps> I'm impressed. Usually you're running around and you have to come back. So good evening, everybody. Um, I'm really fighting a migraine today. You wouldn't know, but my head feels like I could chop it off like from here on up. That's okay. Um, it's also pink day. Hmm. That wasn't on my list. Um, it's International Animal Cracker Day. <laughs> what else was it? I went over this with my, my kids in my class. There's a lot of really fun little weird holidays that are happening and popping up. I use an app that's a holiday um, tracker and it just comes up with a bunch of really fun um, holidays. So in my soup day, is it in my soup day? There is, I wish I could look it up, but I'm on this right now. Um, Hello! I had long time no see, honey bear boo. Um, that is one of my amazing... Do you remember, Noel, what holidays we talked about today? There was Animal Cracker Day and Piñata Day. Apparently there's Pink Day and In My Soup Day. I missed it. I love finding a reason to celebrate. Um, no animal crackers in my soup. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I don't understand... Uh, besides French onion soup, I don't like bread in my soup. Like no croutons, none of that. So hi, Rhonda. Look at us. We are all alive and fabulous. Well, in honor of Piñata Day, and this is my birthday week, um, I have a really fun spinner card. So we're going to be doing some spinning um, around. Can you guys do me a favor? Shout out which platform you are on. Um, so let me know if you are on um, YouTube, if you're on Facebook, um, so I can see where the comments are coming from. We often find that there's a challenge on one of those platforms on usually Facebook um, to actually see the comments. So I'm just kind of, oh good, Melody. So I'm seeing yours. So that's good. Melody knows. Not always is Facebook uh, super happy. So is Sue. Uh-huh. And then my sweet little no-no, she's on YouTube. And then Lisa Marie. Hola, mi amiga. ¿Cómo estás? I can't wait to see you in August. I'm going for the Stampin' Up! Leadership event in Las Vegas. Maybe you and Jamie can join us. Hopefully we can get Monique there too. We'll get her back to the leadership that she was um, once was. So, oh, my laptop was sitting on my card, you guys, and kind of bent my piñata for you. So, um, awesome. And what we're going to do is, I want to show you guys this really cute. This is all new product. So we're going to be creating with new stuff with the Taco Fiesta, which is carrying over. Now, do me a favor. If you guys are um, in YouTube, thanks, Rhonda. So do me a favor, you guys. If you ordered a catalog from me, and you know that I sent it out, like we talked, um, can you let me know if you received it yet? Did you receive, and mine's downstairs in a bag. I took to work or to school and I didn't 
even get to look at it. I was busy doing mock trial stuff, which is this week as well. So we are super excited, my friend Marcy and I, to wrap up mock trial. <laughs> and actually, Noelle's on here. She's excited too. <laughs> it is one of the coolest... <coughs> It's one of the coolest aspects of our homeschool community day, um, but I am looking forward. You have not sued. Okay, good. Will you and Bonnie Boo text me when you do receive it so that I know? Because I am tracking it. You didn't get yours yet either, Melody? Okay, yeah. Noelle's like, yeah, yes. Let's end muck trial. And my kids in my class are already in their summer mindset. The beautiful weather lately has made it so that nobody wants to be indoors. <laughs> My daughter's class today, um, they have a community class, right, one day a week. Um, thank you, my love. Uh, they got into a discussion whether animals have souls or not. And I, her director, um, which is the like me in class, and I were talking, and we've become friends. And so I said, so did Genevieve jump in on that? And she goes, how did you know? <laughs> Genevieve, um, my daughter, went head to head and turned a whole class around and had everybody believing, using her debate skills, that animals have souls and are in heaven. So, if you don't agree with that, let me just say, it's not a salvation issue, in my opinion. And I do believe animals are in heaven. It's just my belief. Now, I've had the logical conversation with people, which is, this is a fun conversation for you today, um, that, and Noel has heard me in class, we've had this discussion, but um, if animals are in heaven, are the squirrels still being chased by the cats and the dogs and the, I don't know. That's Jesus's problem, not mine. I'm not a fan of squirrels. <laughs> they eat my stuff. I don't like them. And they make my animals go crazy. But that's just a whole nother story. Anyway, let's do our spinner card today. But I like to do a twist. So I want you guys to know that this is a card within a card with a twist. And we are using, oh, Somebody is messaging me. Um, <laughs> right? There is no hate there. There isn't. And there's no, like, homicidal tendencies with anything that ends up in heaven. It's, it, that's it. So all of our issues with people on earth that are your brothers and sisters, they're all wiped away. God fixes all of that when we get up to heaven. <laughs> So this is all new product. This is our brand new designer series paper called Bright and Beautiful. This features all of the new in color um, and the new the new colors, not even in color, just the new colors that are part of the Stampin' Up! collection. Um, this is using the Taco Fiesta and it's a spinner card. And so we're going to be using my husband's, actually it's mine. I use it for decor. Don't judge. But um, we are going to be using fishing line and we're going to open it. And it turns. Look, you guys. Not only that, we have some candy explosion here. And then we made a card within a card. Why? If you know me, I'm a little OCD about certain things. And if you wrote here, if you wrote on this card, you would see it through the piñata. Not acceptable. Not when you can add a little fun extra inside. Just a little, y'all. And this is really fun. And it's really easy. So I'm going to walk you through how to do it right now. And we're going to create. Um, you guys, sh the blogging did not occur today. I have been designing and then eating dinner. And my kids didn't pack my lunch today. I mean, it was packed, but it was left at home. They didn't grab it. So I had three pickled eggs for lunch. <laughs> Noelle can confess I made the kids try a pickled egg. She refused. Quitter. So we're going to go ahead and create this right now. This also is double-sided. So that's going to include a technique. And look how fun that is. Whee! And then it does stand perfectly well on your counter. Let's see if I can move stuff. Just like so. It sits perfectly right on your counter. They were pink. They were pink. They're more purple. Because I like pickled eggs and I cannot lie. Um... Uh, somebody is messaging me. I can't answer. And I won't remember. <laughs> they were purple. Do not make... Oh, Melody, you don't like pickled eggs? It is the perfect balance, y'all. It is that savory, highly yummy, fatty protein with that pickle. Like, and it's not dill pickle. I use beets in mine, so um, they're a little purplish, which is fun. Okay. 
end of our fun discussion. We're going to hop in. <laughs> my kids are not adventurous. Um, but my daddy used to make me pickled eggs and pickled onions, and I loved both. And Noelle is not a fan of pickled onions. She's just wrong. Or maybe somebody wasn't doing it right. Just saying. Let's turn around and create right now. Are you guys ready? Are you set? Let's do this. Okay, I'm going to zoom in, y'all, because you shouldn't have, like, all my chaos in one place. Okay, uh, tuka, 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 tuka. here we go. So this is our really fun card that you see right here. So it will fit into a standard envelope, and then it will open up, and you have a great place to write on the inside. We're also going to use up some scraps that we have and add some added flair on the inside. Nothing better than using up your scraps. That makes me happy. You don't like pickled anything. I don't like dill pickle. And I don't like most pickles anymore, though I used to eat sweet pickles. Sometimes I'll have a sweet pickle. But um, my grandmother, I used to eat dill pickles with her. And I don't any, like, as I've developed an age, I don't eat pickled eggs. Or pickled pickles. I'll do but bread and butter pickles. This is, this is a weird conversation. I'm so sorry. Now, I've done part of the work for you guys. Um, I've done the two piñatas, and I've cut them out because that's going to cut some of our time out. We're going to cut that right out right that. And then um, the these measurements will be available on my blog at gettingcrafty.net probably tomorrow morning after a doctor's appointment that I have. So we're going to go. We're going to go ahead and we're using our bone folder to make a firm impression. Boom shakalaka baby right there. That's going to be our card. But this is where it gets fun. We're going to put it in backwards so that when it does, it's just like this. And then it opens up and it becomes this really fun and easy card. I can tell you that I love a card that's easy. Hi, Monica. First timer. Good to see you. Boop, boop, boop. Nice to see ya. Um, we're using this stunning, brand new, bright and beautiful designer series paper. It's a six by six, full of color. We're using the lemon lime twist. It's so pretty. It wants to dance for you and it wants to dance for me. Okay. Yes. Um, it's funny because I've got a roaring migraine. I'm going to drink some water. Hmm. Sometimes, just so you guys know, I use an electrolyte water. Um, and this is the brand I like, Splash. Um, and it seems to uh, help with some of my leg cramps and my headaches. Just so there you go. Um, if you guys are looking for a drink to do, the zero calories. And it's really like, especially in the evening before I go to bed, if I'm fighting a headache or a migraine, that that when I go to sleep will often help. Um, and I don't know why that is. So if I don't take it, sometimes I wake up with a migraine in the middle of the night. No bueno. So we're going to take this and we're also going to take our layering circle dies that you'll see right here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to layer it over. I'm going to move things out of our way. Our cut and emboss machine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's my birthday this week. So we're going to talk about, remind me before we leave, we're going to talk about my birthday present for you in the month of April. And we're going to talk about our upcoming really fun Taco Fiesta bingo night. Um, so we're going to be creating with the Taco Fiesta stamp set. And it's going to come the first four people who order the kit. The first four are going to get, are you guys ready? A little margarita cup and a little sombrero. There you go. And inside is a little margarita mix, not alcoholic. So you could put it with your lemonade if you don't want to have anything with alcohol. And it's really yummy. And then it comes with a little like shaker and it has some tahine. So that's delicious. If you don't like it, send that back to me because I love tahine. I love it. But thank you, Monica. My birthday is actually Friday. So when this is announced this week, uh, actually, it'll be announced this weekend, you guys. I have mock trial, and I'm drowning in mock trial. So once mock trial's over, it gets listed. So this will be something we're going to do in May, um, in a late Cinco de Mayo, 5 of May, right? Pretty simple. It's not actually a holiday in Mexico, in case you were wondering. The Cinco de Mayo is not. But the first four people that order this kit for the bingo will get this, because that's all I have, is four. <laughs> Um, I tried to buy it out at the store and it was gone. 
like I bought them and then I went to another store and they didn't have them and I really thought they were going to have them and so it is but there is a present in every one of those bags besides that that is tasty and delicious so don't miss out now we're going to get our cut and emboss machine love me some cut and embossing there you go now these are already cut and scored for you. So what you wanna do is layer them. Now I'm gonna give you a little tipsy tripsies. This here is how I use my cutting and embossing machine. This monster has been cut, die cut quite a few times. And so I will alternate it, but this one will always stay on the bottom. It just will. And that will give you a little bit of a flatter cutting plate. And I don't know, ooh, hiccupies. So as it, um, bows which it will do because you are applying about 2500 pounds of pressure to your machine um this here is not die cut until i'm done with it and then i alternate it out with another plate does that make sense i hope it does um and so let's go ahead and die cut it i did not adhesive this down because we're going to have some fun with that fishing line now my front room is a game room and it faces the main street of our town. And so I live in this cute little tiny town in Indiana. I thought I was moving into Mayberry. Let me tell you, mm -mm. I don't think Mayberry exists. None of those great little towns in my, my books that I like to read seem to exist. Ash, I should write shame. Mm. Um, but this town is packed with amazing people that are just such a blessing to my life. And so... Um, Anyway, I have these giant windows that face the town and everybody drives in through our window, like sees our windows. So I have a tendency to hang decor in the windows so that it's due. And I use fishing line to do so because I like it to be clear. So we have this little envelope. I'm going to set it to the side. We now have this here this little circle and I have one from the previous card I made do not waste them go ahead have fun making these into something on a card this is the new card stock these are perfectly round they remind me with a line down it like a, a you could make like a tennis ball out of it does that make sense um actually one of my friends plays tennis out here Aaron and then there's this cute little circle and then the back, remember all of our papers are double-sided. And so the one that we did for this one is this paper collection here with that in the back, another looking like tennis ball, perfect, adorable. Mm, you are welcome. So what we're going to do is we're gonna fold it up. And then we're gonna use the boom folder. Make a firm impression, right? Let me see. And then, one of my favorite adhesives, we're going to use it. This tear tape is designed specifically, you guys, for like a stronger adhesive. So like a 3D adhesive, right? Here. And then one of my favorite tools, as you probably know, we're gonna use a bone folder. And when you take the bone folder across the tear tape, anything that's not connecting gets pushed together. Much better adhesive quality when you do that. We're going to take my take your pick tool and we're going to go under the tear tape to pick up that tear strip, right? Doesn't affect my fingernails. Is it really? I didn't know it was filmed in Erie, North Carolina. I've never been to the Carolinas, but that being said, I'm pretty sure uh, the movie I fell in love with that um, was filmed in the Carolinas. Oh, it's a Nicholas Sparks movie. Sweet walk, sweet, no, nope. mm. oh my goat, I can't tell you the name of it off the top of my head, um, but Nicholas Sparks movies kill me, like he's always said, that was one of the better ones in my opinion, and I am not a person who likes tears, mm -mm. Um, and so Mount Airy is where Mayberry was filmed, huh, oh I see, yeah, autocorrect, I'm sorry Monica, you know, autocorrect is drunk, it is, I think it goes out of its way to make us look bad sometimes. Just saying. That's my personal theory, and I'm sticking to it. There we go. Right here. Use your bone folder. Make a firm impression. Is it worth that extra impression? Yes. Yes, it is. And so, oh, what is that movie I love so much? 
Anyway, um, my husband and I were watching it and I fell in love with the movie so much, like the scenery, that I would pause the end of the movie to see where it was filmed because you get that credit at the back. And um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the Carolinas. And my grandfather was like, I don't know that you're going to want to move there. Of course, grandpa didn't want me to leave him. So that was probably a big part of it, just in case y'all were wondering. He traveled all over the world, my grandparents did. And then... Nana passed away. Um, they were married just shy of seven, two weeks shy of 70 years. I believe we're 72 years. Oh, I wish I remember. Anyway. Okay. Now we're going to use our fishing line. Now I'll give you a little secret. I hang things like wreaths and that kind of thing. This weight not, does not work for my, my decor. So I actually threw it like on a side wall and ignored it for a while and then I was walking out by my daughter's bedroom and it was just sitting there and I was like oh, I could make a piñata card with my fishing line um I used to and if you guys ever have made jewelry I used to make like jewelry piece like hanging necklaces and stuff with fishing line there you go there there you go and I'm doing it right on the score line again the measurements will be available for you guys tomorrow on my blog and the bingo is going to be a ton of fun. Now, speaking of my birthday, um, we are going to be celebrating. You guys, anybody who places a qualifying order this month in the month of April will get a bonus um, really lush mystery box sent to them. It'll be packed full. I'm going to give you a... a, a warning what's it's going to be packed full it's going to be packed full of designer series paper it's going to be packed full of embellishments and it's going to be packed full with a crafting kit inside an all-inclusive crafting kit they do bonnie they have a mayberry cafe in danville indiana the sheriff car was parked out front and they have several tvs on the mayberry show sh running for you to watch as you eat when are we going my bonaboo you know I, that makes me super, super happy. Okay. So we have our designer series paper. And we're going to take it up here. I'm just being a little careful. Now this is where I get a little assertive, you guys. This is where I will take the designer series paper. And I'm going to make sure that that connection is like full on love affair, right? We really want it to, there's a piece of schmutten, schmutten right here. There you go. Now we've created that little piece that you see right there. And I put it on the wrong side. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Sure. We're going to bend this one a little bit different. There you go. Now, because we're bending it differently, you gotta manipulate it a little bit. You need to give it a little firm impression. Firm, firm impression, mm, firm impression. There we go. I have no idea. It's not folding the same way. You guys, when I did this one, I should have done it this way. I did it on the outside because I'm busy talking instead of crafting. I got all excited. <laughs> Bonnie just told me about Mayberry. Um, I actually have friends with the last name Mayberry. They're good friends of mine. Now, we're going to take and stamp on this. And I want to show you the trick, but we're not going to fussy cut these out right now because I've already done that for you. Okay. This here is the strip that came off of this designer series paper. Right? Fabulous. You're welcome. Um, and so you could stamp either side, really. Then you're going to need... Dun, 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 dun. Hold on. You're going to need your craft silicone sheet. Silicone craft sheet. Right there. And we're going to use our blueberry bushel ink pad. There we go. Don't you love that sound? Like that. Oh, I love it. Then, hmm, I have a little strip right here. And um, I'm going to make an extra. I think I can fit that on there. It'll be snug as a bug as a, there you go. So we're going to stamp on a silicone craft sheet. This is now becoming our stamp, if that makes sense. 
Then while it's sitting here, use your chamois to clean it. We're gonna be using the chamois, which is wet with water. Hey, boo boo, Brandy boo. Hello, my friend. I love you. Um, we're gonna be using this a lot today to make this spinning um, pinata card. All right, so then all I did was I took the extra that you see here and we're going to place it on the stamped on the silicone sheet and then I'm gonna use, without pushing too hard, this is why. We don't want to stretch out the silicone, right? And silicone will, watch this, it'll move. You don't want that because we're making this a stamped image. Are you guys ready for the fun? Look at that little, oh, it got cut off but you can see what I'm saying, right? So then the other side that you would cut, you would stamp a second one normally, and then they're like kissing cousins, just like that. Boyfriend, girlfriend, little little ones right there. I tried to use a scrap, but it didn't work. That's okay, it's a scrap. I love you too, sweetie poo. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do, you guys. We're gonna set aside our happy little Piñatas. Then we're gonna use our Simply Chamois. I have to tell you, one of my favorite crafting tools ever. There we go. Then we're gonna take, while this is here, we're gonna use the Simply Chamois, which just wet with water, and we're just gonna wipe that off, and I'm gonna tell ya, magic presto, it's gone. Hello. Then I put it back in my case, my clear case. Why? I don't want it on here. I don't want a bunch of water here. Don't do it. Okay. So, usually, you guys, I would tell you to go with lightest to darkest, but I already have the, the blueberry bushel open. So, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the greening, which is, holy guacamole, it's your birthday. And without adhesiving it in, just so you guys can see what I'm doing, I put that down. I close this right there. That way I can see where my holy guacamole is going. Then we use our Simply Chamois. Clean it off. Then we want a whole explosion of candy. Yes, we do. So normally I would start with the lightest color here, which is Lemon Lime Twist, work into the berry burst, and then go into the blueberry bushel. Y'all, blueberry bushel's already open. We'll be fine. We are grabbing the little candy pinata piece. We're gonna come in. We're just gonna kind of stamp around. And always take it so it's kind of going off of the paper. It's much better and more appealing to the eye. Take your Simply Chamois, clean it, it's ready to go. Any color you want now, whoop, whoop, you're amazing. I wish all mistakes were that easy to erase. It's not. In case you were wondering. Right here, and boom, shakalaka, baby, boom, boom, boom. We're having some happy candy coming down. Do you guys remember piñatas? Do you know they've ruined the piñata? Unless you go to the Mexican markets, the Spanish markets. Um, they now have the Americanized piñatas that are safe. Ugh, so horrible. Don't be safe. Don't live si life, life too safe, y'all. Just don't do it. Anyway, they, and people don't know this sometimes when they purchase it. So they purchase the piñata and it's all these little strings like a big old jellyfish hanging out underneath. You're not supposed to hit those piñatas. I was at a party where the kids were just beating the heck out of the piñata and it was not breaking apart. And I said, y'all, you have to pull on the strings now. And every parent looked at me horrified because they had ruined the piñata they had so um if you go to a mexican market you should be able to find the old school legit piñatas you guys <sighs> such a bummer though who needs safe piñatas i mean i miss lawn darts <laughs> <laughs> ah, the days of surviving childhood is not the same anymore I think we're better for having survived our childhood. Also, I want you guys to know I got ink on my finger. Just use your chamois. Wah, 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 wah. It's like you're a DJ. 
And we have our holy guacamole candy potty. Take your stamp and seal. Make sure it opens incorrectly, which is correct. I agree, Melody. Jordan Peterson talks about um, needing children to play dangerously a little bit. You have to let them do dangerous things to have the bravery that's needed for life. Just saying. So this card can go flat if you wanted to, if you ruined it like I did. Just so you know. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our stamp and seal or the tear tape, y'all. Okay. Go in here to this die cut circle. Right there. Right. Do it again on your pinatis tummy. Okay. I grew up in a predominantly Hispanic community, in a farming community, and we actually did la cucaracha dance in kindergarten, and I still have the skirt that was super colorful with um, this little pom-pom twine that hung down. I still have it. I have a picture, I think, of every one of my girls. We survived playing outside, using our imagination, having fun for years, and the lack of technology was fabulous. Just saying, I miss life like that. So, you guys, it's supposed to go out. I did it backwards. You should put the designer series paper on the inside of the card. So when you bend it, it does the other. But this doesn't. So here, now if you wanted to prepare it to spin, you twist it. Make sure it's nice and firm on that string. Twist the string. And then put it in the card, like this, inside of the envelope. So when they open it, it does a little spinny thing. Right there. Look at that. Don't you guys just love this? Now, I have this other strip. I'm just going to put it down here on the bottom. Because it's fun to tie in the inside of the card with the outside of the card. And I dislike not using scraps. Give me my scraps. And then use a pair of snips to cut them off. Boom shakalaka babies. Super cute and easy. What do you think? Do you love the piñata? Which is your favorite? Do you like this like confetti or do you like the circles? I don't know comment and let me know but either way they work wonderful right and um there's a little accent on the inside of each card with a little extra strip that's left over from cutting the designer series paper down i hope you do franaboo i want to see what you create with it do you dig the circles sue sue's all about the circles sue just had a birthday too you guys the confetti bonnie boo says Happy birthday, Suey Boo. You know we love you. Okay, so we have confetti. We have circles. This Oh, the circles. Circles are winning so far. But I think you're not going to lose when it comes to how cute, how stinking cute this collection is. Now, our bingo and crafting is coming up. And um, you guys want to get on that. It's going to contain the Taco Fiesta stamp set. And um, if you already have that, we can do an alternative stamp set, but it will include that and a bunch of goodies inside and you'll want to catch that. Hi! So I love these cards. And, um, hello Melly! Down and Um, I think it's a wonderful way for me to celebrate my birthday with you. Um, tomorrow is free shipping. These will go into a envelope pretty easy you guys um free shipping on qualified orders of 75 dollars or more in the united states so you want to make sure that you get in on that order if you use my hostess code i am glad to send you a bonus gift um right now we have melody has a box of bonus she's got two paper samples and um all kinds of great stuff coming to her um and if you guys want to order this month that is your bonus it will include a crafting kit and a bunch of designer series papers inside for you um and some cardstocks and embellishments and just like just a nice little 
wow box that you're going to receive um, on any orders of $50 or more. But to get the free shipping, you need $75 or more. Only tomorrow. The hostess code, yes. Um, it's on my blog right now at gettingcrafty.net. Let me see if I can get that for you guys. I can pull that up because I have my laptop here. And I do two lives every single Tuesday. And so the second live is with my Getting Crafty family. If you want to grab the new catalog and all of the items with a discount, make sure that you grab that starter kit with me. It would be great to have you join us. We have a global team that's a, um amazing leading treat team in the United States. And I love it. So I love being the top 1% of what I do in this world um, and crafting and connecting with you. Now, hostess code. Are you ready to write it down? Um, it is two F as in Frank, four T as in Tom, Z like a Z zero a uh, Zorro Zorro nine T as in Tom N as in Nancy. So there you go. Um, that is two F as in Frank, four T as in Tom, Z as in Zorro, uh, nine T as in Tom, N as in Nancy. So there you go. I hope that helps you guys. You can see it always on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. Oh, I'm so glad, Monica. Um, if you would like a welcome packet and some other stuff, make sure you let me know. Um, you can always reach me via private message on Facebook, um, or you can email me, jamie, J-A-M-I-E, at gettingcrafty.net. And um, I am sending, there's a big stack of mail to go out. It just means I have to get my attitude, my act together. I will be really more on the ball as our homeschool year is coming to an end, but as mock trial is coming to an end. I'm like, yay. Uh, launching our kids to do mock trial is an amazing feat. It's one of my favorite things of this year um, as their eighth grade year. It's just a blessing. So um, I want to thank you guys for joining me tonight. Mwah. You can always see um, all of my measurements, all of my projects are at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. I don't know if this shows up backwards. Does it? I do not know. Um, sometimes I'm entertaining, Monica, and sometimes I'm just me. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to see. It doesn't... Oh, I'm, you know what? The video is always on a delay for me. So um, hopefully you guys could see that. I don't know. Um... You too. I pray that my headache goes away, my too. And I have lights on me to craft and that's not helping. Um, don't miss out on the, um, is the f confetti your favorite? That's my too, actually. Um, don't miss out on grabbing your own uh, Taco Fiesta Bingo Night that's coming up. Follow it on gettingcrafty.net and the first four who order will get this awesome bonus in their goodie bag. Um, everybody's going to be getting a loaded goodie bag anyway for that. So don't miss out. That'll be early May. So um, a great way to celebrate the beginning of almost summer. Isn't that exciting? So uh, have a great evening. God bless. I'll see you guys later. And you can see the full tutorial at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net.